Now, this isn't the best prop for this story about my sensei, but he used to, um, he used to work on Shinai a lot, and he had a lot of different tricks that are pretty rare today. So one day, my Shinai broke, so he said, oh, here, Yutaro, just, uh, just use one of mine, and I start using it and realize, man, this thing is, this thing is light as a feather. When I looked at it, you could literally see through the Shinai. He had them sanded down or shaved down so thin that the four slats barely touched each other. So after the practice, surprised I didn't break this thing. I said, Sensei, is this thing legal? Legal? I don't care about that. I don't, I don't, I don't even just practice. Yeah, the thing was literally feather. I said, did you compete with stuff like that? Oh, yeah, we, we'd modify our shinai all the time. They didn't weigh them or measure them. Oh, oh dang. Okay, so, yeah, he he had all these different tricks. He'd shave it down, make them make each slat super thin. He'd just take candles and beeswax and rub them on there to... And he'd even heat treat them so you'd see burn marks on them where, you know, he claimed that made him uh, tougher to crack. I don't know. But, um, yeah, sometimes I think back to that and go, wow, that was, um, that was pretty interesting what he did. Even for, uh, he said, oh, yeah, he liked his, his handle sticker, but they didn't necessarily sell fat handled shinai. So he did some clever things by sliding. He took cereal boxes, cut them in cut them into longer pieces and would slide them in between in between the slats, put the leather back over it, soak it in water, tighten them up so he'd have these self-made fat handle shinai. So very innovative back in the day when you can just go go online and buy kendo equipment. So for more stories like this about my sensei in this series, please click like and subscribe.